Hello, the Internet Tough Monkey here once again. Hope that you're all well. Thank you very much for stopping by with update 1.4 for Gran Turismo 7. This week we have a new track, Lake Louise, and with it brings a new circuit experience and another opportunity to get a gold medal on a new lap and a million credits for it. As I'm a helpful kind of guy, I thought I'd show you my best lap so far in the RCZ Group B Rally Car and show you how I got gold. So let's break this lap down. You want to approach this first corner on the left hand side and we're hitting the second N20 board. Then turn in sharply, use the occasional bit of handbrake, drop it down to third gear and try and get the car as straight as you can. We don't want to be on opposite lock for too long. We want to straighten the front wheels out. That helps get the power down. As we approach this right hander here, we're on the left hand side and then we're going to yank the steering over to the right. We're aiming almost to hit the snowbank on the right hand side keep to the right hand side of the track because we're turning sharp left here drop it down to third no need to drop it down to second and we want to straighten the front wheels up again as quick as we can up to fourth and let the car drift out towards the wall on the right hand side we're taking a sharp line through this right hander here get as close to the snow bank on the right hand side as you can and then let the car naturally drift out to the left hand side this is a tricky corner. It wants to invite you to turn in sharply early to this right-hander here, but keep it out to the left-hand side and then turn in and let it drift second, then third gear. We're just trying to keep the car under control tightly around this corner to give you an optimum angle into this double left-hander apex here. So we turn in to try and hit the barrier on the left-hand side almost and then straighten the wheels up again. We've got a long section here, so we want to get the power down as early as we can and get the car maximized on its speed. It's a bumpy section of track here. And like that previous corner I said that was difficult, this is very similar corner again. It wants to invite you to turn in early. So keep the car out onto the left-hand side and then start to turn in when you feel that we're getting close to the apex. This corner keeps on getting tighter. So keep it nice and tight, feather the throttle if you need to and don't let it drift out onto the left too early because we're turning early. With rallying, you need to turn in early. Let the car drift and let the drift do the work to take you around the corner. Now I've braked too late here. I've paused it here. That's where I should have braked, but I've braked too late and I've gone too deep into this left-hander here. It's compromised my entry and exit to the corner. I need to be left, far left over here, turn in early. Again, let the car turn in early and the drift does the work. Move up through the gears steadily and let the car move over to the left-hand side of the track here. It's smoothest here. There's more bumps on the right-hand side. So you're keeping the wheels on the ground and more traction as we power up to the water line on the left-hand side. So there we go, that's a sub 141, a second below the gold medal standard and there was time left on the table there I think. I'll let you watch the lap through again in silence and I'll see you at the end. Okay, I hope you found that video useful and it's helped you get a gold and a million credits on the Lake Louise time trial. I'm going to be releasing a few more guide videos around update 1.4, namely for the menu books, the two new events that we've got to play on. So if you want to get notified of those, do please subscribe, like and comment and I'll see you on the next video. Take care.